Does anyone know why James invited us here? I don't know. We thought he was just inviting us. Maybe it's a surprise party. We should open up. Everyone, this is an intervention. I would like you all to sit down, please. Ever since I started drinking all the time, you all have been very self-destructive of my drinking habit. That's not what self-destructive means. First, you have to admit that you have a problem. A problem with how awesome I am at drinking. Huh? Oh, come on, people! Someone have the courage to stand up. I'll take John here. Just last week, John told me to stop drinking. You were at my mother's funeral. Well, I was distraught. Anyway, when you think you can shotgun a six-pack in under 30 seconds, you don't ask yourself, is this during the eulogy? It was inappropriate. Life is for the living, John. If your mother didn't want to be 20 feet away from the James Ashby victory shuffle, well, then she should have fought just a little harder in the OR. You'll thank me later. Kelsey, your turn. Oh, sorry. Please admit that you were very upset when I vomited on your clothes, sheets, bed, bedroom, hallway, bathroom, back into the hallway again, living room, door, walkway, and car. Mostly in that order. My problem is that you vomited all over my entire house because you thought I was having a party. And then you crashed my car into a tree. Kelsey, sheets can be cleaned. Cars. Repair themselves. No, they don't. But your bitchy attitude about my rock star lifestyle is ruining a friendship. You vomited on me. You walked across the room and you vomited on me. And after I vomited all over you, what did you say? I, I, I don't know. It was like, ew, ew, you fucking drunk. You just fucking vomited on me. Ugh. After that. I don't know. But... So you don't even remember. Well, let me clarify your memory for you. You said, and I quote, James, it's 8 a.m., put down that tequila. Yes! Put down that tequila. You vomited on me! Oh, and I suppose every little setback is supposed to derail me? I want my house key back. Never. JP and Jenny, you arranged an intervention for me. Yep. And didn't supply anything to drink, even though you knew I was working on my drinking habit. Yep. And I was forced to drink from my three flasks and whatever bourbon I could wring from my pants, shirt, and hair. Yeah, that was weird. And let's not forget the time you said you'd bring me bourbon, but then didn't, so I had to drink the fluid from your brake line. James, JP's father died in that car accident. I never got to tell him I loved him. <laughs> I bet you regret not bringing me that bourbon now. <laughs> you know what? Actually, you're right. We have been holding him back. I, you know, I'll admit it. When a man has a gift, a, a calling. Thank you. It's cruel of us not to encourage it. Thank you again. And that is why I think James should drink a bottle of Drano. Uh, 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 what? Hey, James, you are right. We believe in you. Mm -hmm. Drano, Drano, Drano. Drain out, 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 drain out! Do you think he's dead yet? I'll check his pulse with this knife. 